Uh, meanwhile, the Pentagon and the State Department addressed the withdrawal from Afghanistan today, discussing the plan moving forward. But lawmakers say they want to hear from President Biden. Our Phil Blair joins us in studio with that story. Phil, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Maria and Andrew. Today, President Biden hosted the president of Ukraine at the White House, where diplomatic relations with the country was top of mind. But two days after withdrawing from Afghanistan, the calls among lawmakers for answers is growing. It's an honor and a pleasure to welcome President Zelensky. President Biden shifting his foreign policy focus to the Baltics Wednesday meeting with the president of Ukraine in the Oval Office. And the United States remains firmly committed to Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. But Afghanistan remains foremost on the minds of most in Washington as calls to investigate the president's decision to withdraw grow louder on Capitol Hill. For the president to go on TV last night and to call this an extraordinary success was shameful. In Kabul, economic turmoil as Afghans under a new central bank directive struggle to withdraw cash amid warnings of a food crisis. At the Pentagon, U.S. officials saying their evacuation effort was historic despite concerns with how it all played out. As we always do, this department will look back clearly and professionally and learn every lesson that we can. That's our way. And as to whether or not the U.S. would work with the Taliban moving forward. This is a ruthless group from the past, and whether or not they change remains to be seen. At the State Department, questions continue over diplomatic efforts to get remaining Americans out. We are looking at all possible options, air routes, land routes, uh, to continue to find ways for them to help evacuate and to support them. As for those Afghans who fought alongside our troops, the State Department has yet to release any numbers on how many got out or how many still remain. Andrew and Maria. All right. Thank you, Phil, for that.